Okay, so today we are comparing two bee suits. One is ventilated on the left and one is not ventilated and is medium thickness here on the right. The one on the left is by Guardian Bee Apparel and the one on the right is by Buzz Beekeeping Supplies. So we're going to take a close look at them here. And I have worn them both. The one on the right there, I just finished doing some splits with it on a very hot day and I can tell you that's a hot suit. But uh, we'll talk more about that later. I want to give you some of the details of it. It did come with some nice long beekeeping gloves. It looks like unbleached muslin here. And again, it's Buzz Beekeeping Supplies. They give you stickers for your car. I thought it was funny that the male bee there with the beard has the stinger. Anyway, uh, and these gloves work out okay. They're cowhide gloves. And I believe they're made in Pakistan. They're ventilated. They're nice and long. They go way up into your upper arm there. So if you want to wear gloves, I guess these are okay. And uh, there's the label made in Pakistan. They're fairly uh, standard as far as leather gloves go. They uh, give you decent dexterity, but uh, only when you're doing kind of basic work. These are the details of the suit itself. The stitching is pretty good. I like the zippers. The zippers move nice and easily. There are elastic gathers there at the waist so that it fits nice and snug. This is one of their large suits, I believe. And uh, it's pretty standard again. Here are the pockets that are in the upper arm. And there's a reinforced uh, leading edge there in that arm pocket, which I kind of like because uh, you're going to be sticking your sharp hive tools in and out of that, I suppose. And here's your thumb elastic. Again, this is Buzz Beacon Supplies Bee Suit Large. And uh, we're trying it out. So I'm sharing about this because people asked about more bee suits after I did my last uh, Honey Beekeeper Suit review. And uh, there's some double stitching. I like the pockets that have the little curve there, the radius for your hand to go in. Although when the gloves were on, a little tough to stick it in there. There is a pocket on the front of your legs here above the knee. And then there's reinforcement right through the knee area. So I like that, kind of like a knee pad, just double or triple the fabric there. And again, there's the elastic stirrups at the bottom of the leg so that uh, you can hook your feet on there when you're sticking them in your boots. Here on the leg again, Pockets on the front and this nice long narrow pocket out to the side of your leg. So slightly to the side and back there if you like to stick your hive tools there or whatever tools you're carrying. There is a very short zipper at the bottom and uh, here it is. You can open that up when you're pulling on your uh, feet here. But if you're putting on boots, you're not going to be able to stick them in that. But then again, it has an elastic uh, strip there so I think they're designed to go down inside your boots which is the way I like to wear them anyway we're looking at the back of the suit here and again we're looking at the zipper this is for the hood and you notice there's a little ring there where you can hang your suit up now that's only when you've got the hood attached and this is a fencing veil style hood and uh, the zippers overlap most do and then we can see how there's a nice high collar inside and then we're looking at the Velcro here on that fencing veil. So I'm going to put this on for you and you can see how it fits. I am five foot nine and a half. Right now I weigh right around 197 pounds. And so if uh, that helps you evaluate the fit of this, then uh, I hope that you benefit from that. Here we're putting the elastic uh, straps on your feet. Again, I like to put these inside boots. I don't pull the suit over the top of the boots just because uh, bees can crawl up your leg there and some people tape the bottoms of their uh, bee suit to keep bees from climbing up if you're going to wear tennis shoes and uh, let's just pull it on here and see how the fit goes there again this is uh, a cotton blend and it's uh, medium density here so this is not maximum protection but it is going to be uh, serviceable as far as keeping the bees off you it's all white which helps with uh, reflection Although I have to say, when I wore it while doing those bee splits, I was plenty sweaty when I got done there, so there is not a lot of ventilation on the suit. And uh, hard to ventilate when you're also trying to protect from uh, being stung by bees, but I do like all these extra pockets all over it. Look at where they are on the leg. Uh, the zipper's good. Again, those pockets here on the side for your hands. Uh, if your gloves are on, you're not going to be sticking your gloved hands in those. The veil has plenty of space in front of it. So that you're not going to receive any bee stings on the face. I've heard of people saying that sometimes these uh, fencing veil styles allow the bees to get too close. And again, I'm showing the upper arm pockets here that are kind of narrow. And that's for your hive tools as well. Although, 
when you pull the uh, B gloves up and on, I'll show you later here, they do get right up over that uh, upper arm pocket. I do like these reinforced knees as I mentioned before. Again, because I do video and photography, sometimes I am down on my knees and uh, that added protection on the suit will keep me from wearing it out. So pretty decent. We're just going to put on their gloves here again, provided by the same company. And uh, it comes in that little pouch that's laying on the bench there to my left and everything comes inside of that but after I receive everything and just hang it up. So again here's what it looks like. It's a large and uh, I noticed that the fencing veil comes out pretty wide to the sides here and fencing veils do obstruct your view just a little bit when you're looking left and right but uh, of the veil styles fencing veils are pretty tight and close so if you like to work and get into tight spaces I guess the fencing veil is good so it's a decent suit. I enjoyed it. Now we're going to move on. We're heading into the 90s here where I live. So we're going to have a super hot day. A ventilated suit. It's going to be a big deal. And this is by another family owned company. Both of these companies are family owned here in the United States. And this is Guardian B Apparel. They sent me a nice ball cap too, which is pretty decent. I don't always wear ball caps, but nice. And here on the zippers, they have these big rings. So if you've ever pulled those zippers when you've got your gloves on and so forth, a nice ring to get a hold of it makes it a little more convenient. The stitching is heavy and uh, the zippers move freely. They seem like they're either copper or bronze here. And so I don't expect them to rust. Now this is the best part, the ventilation. And there are three different uh, style hoods here to go with it. So this is like the Buckfast Abbey style. And you'll notice they have these zippers in the veil and that's what really drew me to this suit and why I think they're very interesting other than the fact that if you're going to go out in your bee yard and it's going to be a hot summer day, you want that suit to be well ventilated and you want the air to pass through. Look at how open the mesh is. I have to tell you, during the filming of uh, this review, it's 85 degrees outside today and I did this around noon. Of course, we're in my woods. and. Uh, this suit felt really good. Plenty of air circulation, plenty of space. There are two veil styles here. This one they consider the novice veil because it has more space in front. And then uh, the second one there they consider the pro veil just because uh, it's closer to the face. And uh, there's that zipper which I'm going to demonstrate in a few minutes here. Now if you're looking at this mesh, the whole purpose of these ventilated suits is to keep uh, enough space between your skin and the outer layer of the suit so that a bee can't get in there and get the stinger to you. So here is the unzipped open front of uh, this veil. And that's actually very unique. I haven't found this on any other bee suit anywhere and I'm always on the lookout. As you know, if you've watched my last uh, bee video, I compared many different designs of bee suits. And uh, this is the first video I'm making regarding a ventilated suit. I like the pockets on the side. Everything on this uh, bee suit is double stitch. There again is a leg pocket. This also has a two-way zipper so you can zip up from the bottom or down from the top. So it's convenient. You need to get your keys out or something. Easy to do. This is a medium size and again this medium actually fit me really well. I spoke with the people at uh, Guardian Bee Apparel and they were super friendly and uh, when I gave them my dimensions they said this was the size. Also, notice there's a Velcro strap down at the ankle. This lets you cinch it up nice and snug. So again, for those of you who don't like to wear boots, and look how high the zipper goes. Way up the leg, so this is super convenient. If you are putting this over boots or something, and you need that freedom of movement, you want to unzip that all the way up the leg. This is the longest leg zipper I've seen on any bee suit. So again, the pockets here on the upper leg are nice and thick. They are stitched well. And this entire suit is really well made. It is heavy. So when you pull this on, obviously this is kind of a rubber mesh that's in between the layers here. And that's what creates the space that keeps the bee stingers away from you. So working with honeybees, I would have total confidence wearing this suit. And uh, as I said, today I was out in the bee yard at noon and uh, it's in the mid 80s and I was not sweating at all. It was really nice to wear this suit, I have to be honest. So, of course, this is the first um, ventilated suit I've evaluated for YouTube. So, um, I also have a half suit with a uh, different hood on it from a different company. 
that uh, I have not actually used, but I just have it on the hanger, so if I need to get out there sometimes. So I'm just going to put it on here and give you the demo. Look again at the length of the zippers on the legs here, and I sped this up so you wouldn't have to spend uh, five minutes just watching me put on a bee suit. But uh, very easy to get in and out of, and right away you notice even a thin full fabric bee suit, like the one there by... Um, Buzz Beekeeping Supplies uh, does not allow much airflow. So this suit, even though it's heavier, definitely is comfortable on hot days. And you can see clearly now where the pockets are oriented on the suit. I do wish they would add a, another layer on the knee there. If they would just even put a pocket on the front that doubles as a knee pad, for example. Because I do get down to the ground, but then again, I don't use these just for beekeeping. I use them to study hornets and wasps and other insects that are in the environment. So I do like this suit. It's going to keep me cool. And here I'm going to unzip the veil. Who doesn't want to be able to have access to their face sometimes when you're out in the bee yard? Either to wipe sweat away, maybe you want to sip a cappuccino or something. Maybe you need to blow your nose. Who knows? But being able to unzip the veil without pulling it all the way back leaves it kind of in a ready position so that if you do need to close it up, it's convenient and fast. So this zippered front on the veil, and this is the fencing style veil, is definitely a huge plus for me. I like it, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. So kudos to these guys that designed this at Guardian Bee Apparel and uh, made that zipper front. And there's plenty of space, nothing's gonna sting you there. The zippers overlap, the Velcro here comes down the front. Now I'm gonna pull it off Let's swap it out because I also like the Buckfast style veil that has the wide brim and this is going to be the most comfortable one I've ever tested. So we get this off and out of the way. You unzip the top here. It came with three veils as I already showed. And uh, these aren't cheap. I think these things are over a couple hundred dollars and I'll leave you links down below for both of these companies so you can check out their offerings as far as gloves, veils, and bee suits and uh, I just wanted to really get into sharing the fact that this one unzips from the front and again I like the big rings they put on the zippers so that you can activate them so we're putting on this uh, Buckfast style veil and uh, like from the Buckfast Abbey I think is where it originated and again uh, it goes together just like the other ones here and it is open all the way around so air passes right through this thing and uh, some of the other Veils like this that I have have fabric two-thirds of the way across the back and it keeps you from turning your head. It's kind of tight. And uh, of course we can unzip one side at a time here. So they did not make this one so that it can open all the way, but you can stick your hand in and access your face if you need to. So I like these zippered openings. I think maybe they'll do some more work with this suit and do some more innovation. I did uh, email them a couple of times and gave them my observations and recommendations, but this is a great suit. So here I am, 85 degree heat, not sweating, air passing through, hanging out with the bees, and I hope that you enjoyed this uh, bee suit comparison and review. So they're both nice suits, it just depends on how much ventilation you want. Again, the uh, Buzz beekeeping supply suit there has nice pockets all over it, well made and uh, pretty nice. So I hope you enjoy your bees, I hope you like the review, and I hope you have a great summer of beekeeping. Thank you for watching as always.